Hi everyone, my name is Mara. I'm a freshman at Georgetown University. I'm studying Justice and Peace Studies and History in the college, and today I'll be telling you about how I found a sense of belonging in my freshman year at Georgetown. So the three most important things to me to find a place where I belong were to find one, people who had a similar background to me, so people who had grown up in Hawaii, and two, people who also treasured their Asian American identity and identified with it as much as I do. Um, and then lastly, people who are just as creative as I am. Um, I've been doing creative things my entire life. Like I've done musical theater since I was basically in kindergarten. I can play for instruments. I've been doing my makeup like every day um, for like the past couple of years. And I do very like creative makeup things. Um, and I've always been like a writer. I love writing poetry, music, um, scripts, short stories, anything, you name it. I love writing and I love being creative so much. Um, and so these like three things were very much like things that I needed to have in my life in order to feel like I belonged here. Um, and I kind of like checked those things off by like going, to, uh, joining different clubs. Um, I definitely tried to join other clubs too. Like when I first got to Georgetown, I tried out for like multiple different like, like acapella groups or other groups that like you have to apply to. And some of them worked out, some of them didn't. It all ended up okay. I still ended up finding like the place where I belong. So club culture is not something that I am necessarily even worried about now. But um, like the biggest things, those three things were the biggest things that were like important to me and important to me finding a place where I belong on campus. And so it was, first of all, it was really important to me to find all of the people who are from Hawaii and to become friends with them. And so thankfully, Georgetown has a Hawaii club. Georgetown is a very, very diverse and open place. And so many clubs exist that you don't even like realize exist. And thankfully, Hawaii club was one of them. Um, we even hold like a luau every year. And the people in Hawaii club are very, very close to each other. So as soon as I got here, I joined the board. I met everyone from Hawaii. And I really like found these people who could understand like the different values um, and like the different like culture that I grew up in. And they could understand like these really, really deep and important parts of me that no one else on campus can understand because they didn't grow up in Hawaii. And so that was immediately kind of how I like found out that I could belong, like I had a place where I belong to. Um, in first semester, that was especially important to me because I was kind of like just learning to get over all of these like little speed bumps about like, learning how to develop friendships properly and stuff so like they were kind of these people who I felt like the safest around because they understood me the best as people who had um, just, like shared similar backgrounds and similar values um and so like having them like really meant the world to me uh second of all my like Asian American identity has always meant like a lot to me especially now that I'm on the east coast I grew up around predominantly um Asian Americans and so it like really really meant a lot to me to have a space where I could like speak to other Asian Americans I joined the Asian American Students Association and I'm friends with like a lot of people um in that group and I'm also part of G Women of Color um and Club Filipino and so I got the chance to kind of like express my identity and like learn about these different parts of my identity and how other people express these parts of their identity through going to events for those groups. Um, and I've like even like started to question more about like what it means to be Asian American, things like that. Um, what it means for me and my identity. And, like I really, I'm getting to explore so many different parts of myself and I definitely feel like I belong somewhere because all of these people around me cherish our Asian American identity so much. And we have kind of like shared history, shared value and shared culture. Um, and then finally, like doing something creative was really, really important to me because I was very much burnt out during my senior year of high school. I like stopped writing. I did musical theater, but I wasn't in any like major roles or anything. I just kind of enjoyed it. I was taking my time and enjoying things, but really more focused on like getting my work done, doing college applications, um, like figuring things out, like what do I want to do with my life? So it was really, really important to me that now that I had figured all of that out, I could return to my roots and like have a creative outlet again. And that is something that has really, really been saving me and has meant like the world to me to be able to be creative again. Um, I joined Bossier, which is a feminist uh, magazine here on campus. Um, and I also joined, uh, or I didn't join, but like I started submitting works to the Anthem, which is a literary magazine on campus. I also started um, to do makeup 
for a magazine called Added to the File. It's a fashion magazine. And so like those kind of like three different groups that I joined really helped me to like harness my creativity a little bit more than I used to. Um, the one group that I joined that really like makes me feel like I'm like part of a community, like all of these things kind of combined is a group called No Pressure Creatives. And they really like checked off all of the boxes for me just because there are three other people from Hawaii who have like pretty major roles in um, producing in like the, in the group overall. Um, it's all about like being Asian American creatives and the entire like goal of this project is to create a, an entirely student written and student produced musical by like Asian Americans and for Asian Americans. And so they're very much into like discussing what it means to be an Asian American and how we can show that creatively and how we can like represent the people um, that we are like closest to and represent our cultures and values in a way that like helps us to be more creative, but also to like shines a light on a lot of the experiences that we live through. Um, and so it's like really meant the world to me to like be a part of this amazing group that lets me be creative and lets me explore my identity as um, explore my identity and like just to feel seen as somebody who is from Hawaii and has grown up there her entire life. And as someone who like really, really values her Asian American identity um, and we have had like some great times together. I originally wanted to join the group because I really wanted to write, um, but I ended up auditioning and I got, um, I ended up being like one of the lead roles for this year's musical, which was entirely, again, entirely student written and directed and produced. Um, and like being around like a, a tight group of people who all have like very similar values and experiences as you really makes you a lot closer as people. And I feel like they are kind of like the community that I choose to surround myself with. Even now, like even after our musical is over, I still see them around all the time and we'll stop and talk and have like really long conversations or get like lunch or dinner together or go to events together and support each other at our respective club events. Um, and they're just like some of the most like wonderful people to be around. Um, and they've made me so much more creative as a person because I've I've started to write again. I've started to like submit poems and poetry to all these other like different places. Um, I've started to like brainstorm different ideas of like musicals that I would want to write or stories that I would want to see and like different ways that I can kind of like talk about my experiences and um, things that like I really wish I could have seen growing up. Um, and so like their mission and the community that they create is something that like really has made me feel like I belong in the Georgetown community. Um, and so like Hawaii Club and No Pressure Creatives are kind of the two like biggest things that have helped me to like feel like I really belong here and I have people who understand me and who I really, really click with. Um, of course, clubs aren't the only way to meet friends. So many people will say that they meet most of their friends through clubs, but that is not the only way that you can make friends. Um, during the first month of school, I just went to every single orientation event. I would strike up a conversation with like literally anyone that I met and I got over my social anxiety. I tried so hard. I would reach out to as many people as possible. And it's really all about just kind of like testing the waters and trying to see like who you really click with. Um, I definitely had to come to terms with the idea that I would not be lifelong friends with the people who I met during my first week or during orientation, but they are definitely good friends who I'm still friends with today and people who I like really treasure. Um, I eventually found kind of like my closest friends and um, they like really make me feel like I belong. But I found my first friend actually like through one of my classes and some people will say they don't meet like a lot of their friends through classes, but everyone's experience is very different. I met my closest friend through one of my classes um, and we kind of just, we struck up a conversation on the first day and then we would see each other around all the time. And then we ended up just getting really, really close. We found that we really clicked together and we became really close friends and now we hang out all the time. Um, and then one of my other closest friends, we kind of met like through as friends of friends. And eventually, again, the same thing, we kept seeing each other around, we ended up hanging out together and we would like just study together. We'd grab lunch or dinner together. And eventually it like developed into like kind of the relationship that I want with my friends, which is a very, very like close tight knit relationship. I like to have like a couple of really close friends who I can just like tell anything about. And that's like the relationship that I have now. And I feel very much like I belong with like this group of people 
Um, but it was definitely like very hard to find them at first. It takes time to build up these kinds of relationships. And so I definitely felt very, very lonely my first couple of months just because I was new here and everyone else was also new here. We were like figuring things out, figuring out um, kind of like the place where we're gonna belong. But the really important thing is that I did find it. I made it a point to get out of my room. I made it a point to try as many things as possible, do as many, um, like talk to as many people as possible and like really put myself out there. And eventually you will find the people who you like really, really click with and you will find a community where you belong. And so like these different things that I've talked about so far, whether it be like clubs or just people you meet around in general, like these people around you are like going to be open and it really just mattered that I had to like get over myself, get over my social anxiety, get over any worries that I had and I eventually ended up in the place where I belong and I really do feel like I belong at Georgetown. There's so many, so many wonderful people here um, and it's just such like a diverse community of people who I've like, I've really expanded um, kind of like my own experiences. I've been going to a lot of like other cultural events and like really learning about other cultures about other people and their perspectives but I've also been felt very seen as somebody who has such a specific background of like being from Hawaii and feeling Asian American and so I I found I found that I've kind of been able to like sample from everything and to discover new things while also like maintaining true to like what my identity is and I've really learned how to like feel understood by people but also to like grow from that and to grow as a person and incorporate new things into um kind of like my ideas of the world and school and everything in general it's just it's really easy to find your place at Georgetown and I finally feel like I belong in my first year of college um and I'm really really grateful for like all of the opportunities and things that have happened around me um and I hope that all of you can easily find a place where you belong as easily as I did anyway. Um, please just try to make friends, try to introduce yourself to as many people as possible. It was definitely hard for me. Like I'm, I'm very much like a shy person, but like really get out of your shell. And I promise the people at Georgetown are some of the sweetest, like most amazing people ever. And you will definitely find where you belong. Oya Saxa.